Little one, reveal yourself. Maybe try being a little less scary. It's Peter! The... the pirate? Nikki! We do not intend to kill you. We need to get into that room. Ideas on what the oversized vacuum's actually doing, Contraxia? A few. None of them good. Rocket, you got the body of a little girl. Can you fit in there? Try again, Quill. Ask him nicely, Peter. Two for two. Thank you, Nikki's passkey. <sighs> Careful, Peter Quill. In my experience, children often booby trap their toys. <laughs> Nikki's, it's mine. So we're just claiming our stuff now? Because if we are... No, I mean it literally used to belong to me. Uh, Quill, you gotta see this. This kid's obsessed with you. Wait, why does she have your toy? It's just something I gave to Corral when we were together during the war, like a keepsake. It doesn't mean anything. Does, uh, this mean anything? How old is the child? Twelve. Ha! Congratulations, Peter Quill. You will make a terrible father. <laughs> you will make a terrible father. Wait, wait, is this why you dragged us here? Clearly. The child is 12. Quill was with the child's... Yes, okay. So the dates maybe kind of match up, so it's possible, I guess. As long as they had a health class on this. Inspiring. Can we just focus on if Corell and Nikki are okay? They're clearly not here, so let's... Move on and keep looking. Anyone else feel weird going through Nikki's stuff like this? Peter Quill is her father. It is his duty to pry into her personal life. <laughs> God damn it, Drax. I think he's still... He's not wrong. He's out of line, but he's right. Okay, where were we? Congratulating you on being a father. Still can't get over how good she is with all this tech stuff. Meh, I could do better. Yeah, but she's 12. So, I'm 15. Staring at it ain't gonna change what it says. It doesn't say anything. Guess Nikki wasn't much of a Skrull fan. Name someone who is a Skrull fan. <laughs> good point. Huh. Not a bad workbench for a kid. Should be a way to Corell's office through those pipes on the left. Yeah, I see an opening. Could be there's a latch on the inside. Allow me, Star Dad. <laughs> I get it. <laughs> Jack, stop laughing so goddamn hard. Can we not make light of all this? We still don't know if they're okay. Got to admit it, Quill. Kid's whole setup is pretty impressive. The way she rigged her terminal to the emergency power grid. I told you, she's a smart kid. Perhaps Peter Quill did not sire this child after all. <laughs> yeah, she just don't seem dopey enough. Maybe she gets everything from the mother's side. Yeah, she should have exhibited at least some foolishness. Maybe it's a trait that kicks in later. <laughs> hey, uh, Quill, were you uh, smart as a kid and then got dumber with age? Pretty sure he's ignoring us. Great. That's the elevator I took with Corel. Oh, and Nikki. Yeah, okay, we're gonna be right back here. I just wanna. See if turning it off and on again, again fixes that little graphical glitch we're dealing Yeah. Uh, give me a second. I'm just gonna go grab some more water. Just over there.
sure right, let's try this again. Gabriel's office through those pipes on the left. Pretty sure she ain't here, Quill. I think he's still processing. So, this is what a regular kid's room looks like, huh? Got to admit it, Quill. Kid's whole setup is pretty impressive. The way she rigged her terminal to the emergency power grid. I told you, she's a smart kid. Perhaps Peter Quill did not sire this child after all. Yeah, I could see that. She just don't seem dopey enough. If I had a kid, she or he would definitely be super cool and smart. So just like Nikki. I guess, maybe, yes. Yeah, so definitely gets it from the mother's side. That's the elevator I took with Corel and Nikki. If we're lucky, maybe they're on their way down right now. When have we ever been lucky? was up top somewhere? Next stop, Corel's office. Come on, just admit it, Quill. You're freaking out right now. This whole deadbeat dad thing's gotta be eating at you. Some need many years to fully comprehend their paternal responsibility. The prospect of maybe being a dad is a little scary. A little? Embrace the panic, Peter Quill. <laughs> Embrace the madness, sir. Well, that don't look good. There was a struggle here. Uh, yeah, that's what I'm reacting to. I am reacting in my own way. This doesn't look good, Peter. All we know is that there was a fight. We don't know who won. Pretty sure I know. So, where is this office, Quill? It's around here somewhere. Place wasn't this messed up last time. When in doubt, follow the stench of death. Need some muscle, Drax. With ease! Maybe we should just ask someone for directions? Hey, I'm capable of asking for help. Help me be done with this stupid mission. There, see? <laughs> Hello? Corral? Nikki? Looks empty. Feels empty. Maybe they're hiding. There are always strange writings on the wall. I'm gonna try and get in her computer. See if I can wipe my criminal history. Rocket! I'm kidding. I'm gonna access her logs. You wanna know what happened here or not? Fine. The rest of us will take a look around. Maybe they left a clue or something. Let's scribble their creed. This one says, Mother knows best. Return. Hope. Promise. Some kind of dye machine. Is it normal for Kree to dye their hair? Not unless they're hiding something. Oh, wow! The Kree have comic books? I am surprised. The Kree Council is very strict on approved forms of entertainment. So this could be, like, super valuable then. How valuable are we talking? 
Nikki's ID. Something seems off, though. What do you mean, off? I don't know. Like it's been flagged or something. Not sure. The girl's date of birth on those documents. Does it match with the typical Cree gestation period? I really wouldn't know. The resemblance is uncanny. She doesn't look anything like me. She's blue. Besides, why wouldn't Corell have just told me? Protect her daughter, Peter Quill. Copulating with you was a capital offense under the Cree purity laws. That's not a real thing, is it? Uh. The Cree are extremely strict about their bloodlines. So, when Corell said we shouldn't be doing this... It was being literal. Any luck getting in? Things pretty well protected. I need time. All right, let me know. Nikki? I'll be a signs of a struggle, Peter Quill. Yeah, this doesn't look good. <sighs> ah, appealing. I wonder if Nikki made this. I am Groot. focused on food right now mystery makes me hungry hey save me some will ya <laughs> in here well this is fancy for valiant heroism against unrelenting tyranny that's the highest commendation given out by the Cree how come I never got one of these I did heroic stuff you're not a Cree what is this some kind of a threat the Cree council demands proof of Nikki's heritage under the Cree purity laws from a legal perspective, copulating with you is extremely objectionable. From other perspectives, too. Uh, this does not look good. For you? No, oh, for Nikki. What are the chances the Kree are involved in any of this? The Council of Purity isn't cryptic. When they punish someone, they make sure everyone knows it. Corel and Nikki will be hanging from a wall. What did you find? Come here and I'll show you. God damn it. Rocket, you're a fucking child. So what am I looking at? Nothing. She's the captain. Captains keep logs. You keep logs? I I'm trying to tell you, they're gone. All of them. Almost like the world mind went out of its way to sever everything. Have you tried turning it off and on? What about backups? Doesn't every Nova ship have a central hub or something? A Nexus mainframe, yeah. If there's ghosts anywhere in the system, that's where. I categorically refuse. Not literal ghost, Drax. He's talking about data. <laughs> right? Yes, but we'd have to access the Nexus directly. Means going to the bridge. We're not leaving until we find out what happened. Center of operations it is. According to the ship's map, the bridge should be right through here. 
Dog report item. It's one of them priests down there, ain't it? Okay, so look. Oh, crap. Uh, nuts to this. I'm out of here. Stop moving. us, Peter Quill. I doubt we shall win this battle. He may be right. Our strikes, our timing, something's off. I know we should be better than this, but maybe we're not. Okay, stop. Stop doubting yourselves. You're talking like you've lost your mojo, but I know you. You're champions. Every time. Who's with me? Feel my wrath. Let's do this! <laughs> Let's Got a second. I'm pretty sure I pressed that dodge button. of us can focus on figuring a way out. Really? This is the server room, right? And servers mean data? I can't just plug servers into my skull. I still need a central terminal. You said the bridge was on the other side of that corridor. So we just gotta make our way across and then up somehow. That'll do it. Well played, Peter Quill. How am I supposed to know why the pooch ain't picking up? Keep trying. Nice little trick warping them all over there. I saw what you did, okay. game. So I saw what you did. the map I saw, Nexus should be just above us. Uh, shall I throw the road in? No! Come on! 
All right, let's look around. Maybe we can find something. It's weird, right? How the world mind seems to have gone completely dark. Very weird. Perhaps it is. All the words you could have used there, Jax, that one actually wasn't too bad. Thank you. It was either that or reloading. Whoops. They got Peter! By they, she means gravity, right? We must tell the dog about the priest. Robot priest. Who says the mutt's not answering? Keep trying. That'll do it. Well played, Peter Quill. How am I supposed to know why the boost ain't picking up? Keep trying. Okay, so according to the map I saw, Nexus should be just above us. Uh, shall I throw the rodent? No! Come on! <sighs> Alright, let's look around. Maybe we can find something. Give to get into some of these servers. I thought that was the plan. Plan is to get to the bridge and hope that maybe someone left the Nexus unlocked. Wouldn't get my hopes up. That not dog report item. We have encountered a formidable new enemy, but still no sign of the ghosts. He didn't mean literal ghosts. Ghosts in the system. Remnants of data. Yeah, let it go. Just let him think there are ghosts. So we just gotta jump across a few of these floaty server things? Seems, uh, perfectly safe. They contain near infinite stores of data. Pretty sure they can temporarily support our puny mortal frames. Well, mine anyway. To think, all of this could have been avoided had the rope not broken the glass. You're blaming him for that? His panic scampering is what caused the final break. Your oversized gut is what caused the first 50 breaks! <laughs> Any luck getting through to Cosmo yet? Nope, still nothing. Reception will probably be better once we're on the bridge. Yeah, I don't think that's how it works. Okay, this is it, the command center. Which I guess makes that the next control terminal. Fingers crossed we find something useful. I'm thinking you should do the honors, Quill. Locked. I wonder, though. He really didn't want her mom to know about this pass key she gave me. No way is some kid's card gonna bypass the next. We're in. You're kidding. Well, yes, guys, we're in. I am good. Get to the juicy stuff already. Channeling your Nova Force. A, a comprehensive guide. <laughs> Tutorials <laughs> by the more world mind. Actually, I wouldn't mind a copy of that. Pass. Let me get this straight. She became a teapot? That's what my source said. <laughs> Amazing. 
seriously, I hate you all. Well, that don't sound good. The audio file must be corrupted. The audio file and everything else in the galaxy. Attention, away team. Please ensure your helmet cams are in full operation ahead of this afternoon's away mission into the quarantine zone. Thank you. Just like Corral, everything by the book. Yeah. It's a list of bucket heads. Uh, we already know your girlfriend works here, Quill. Agent of Thanos. Gamora, care to explain? Not really. Except that it wasn't me. <coughs> Check it out. Nikki's got a file. Boring. I have heard of this one. He was a good man. Except good means scut when you're dead. Hey, Wall. Then who is running Nova Corps? That's a good question. Twenty units, mine's the biggest. They can't be that scary if they share a rectum. <laughs> I've heard of this guy. He's part of a private army called the Lethal Legion. <laughs> More like a loser legion. What is it with you humies and your stupid names? <coughs> whoa, whoa! Star Lord is not in the same league as Dark Hawk, okay? <laughs> One's the name of the greatest band of all time, and the other's a bird. So, Drax's criminal record is pretty big. That is what your mother said. <laughs> it's great, because his mother's <laughs> dead. Goddamn! Drax is throwing some shade. Dead body, buddy. You know, for a non space bearing species, us humans sure get around. Unfortunately. Hey, isn't that the guy we saw? Was Jack Flag? I was right. Yeah, that's him. Look, it's Jack's girlfriend. Lady Hellbender is not my girlfriend. Yet. Why does this guy seem familiar? Grand Unifier Raker. Wonder what he was looking for in the quarantine zone. Probably nothing good. Read it and weep, losers. There ain't a single scam me and Groot haven't pulled off. You name it, we've done it. Threat level continental. Charged, it means you've been caught. You realize that, right? Your point? Wow. When Kree cops go bad, they really go bad. Actually, an accuser is the equivalent of a judge, jury, and executioner. Wow, your record's a lot bigger than I expected. Threat level okay, village. What are you expecting? Minuscule. Another guy from Earth. I'm telling you, Quill. C fifty. Quasar is a criminal. Reckless flying noise complaints disorderly oh, combat. Fact. That bounty Andrew put out is how me and Groot met Quill. I'm just glad I talked you out of collecting it. Who says you did? I am unfamiliar with this Kree. One of the nameless. Oh, spooky. <laughs> All right, let's take a look. Wow, super evident, Quill. And to think we could still be reading my criminal record. Isn't that the mining rig from the quarantine zone? Oh, great. Looks like your girlfriend was collecting evidence against us even after the two of you struck a deal. I still do not understand how the churchman's ship exploded. The no- Hey, isn't that the mining ship we explored in the quarantine zone? Yeah. What is the footage from? Signal stronger. We must be close. How close? Hard to say. There's too much interference. Jurian Corral! Found something. Hey! What are you 
Watch out! Mark! Run! <laughs> Mark! She went in after we left. Flark. That thing. You don't think. It is the creature that devoured our monster. <laughs> Could have been a million things. I mean, it's restricted space for a reason. I'm no, you're a lotus, Scott. That thing's got nothing to do with us. That gem Corral picked up. I think it's the same one we shot in the quarantine zone. Uh, we? You're the one who shot it. Fine, the gem I shot. The point is, is that shadow thing came out of it. We did this. The quarantine zone's a giant death trap. So we released a shadow thing. We made it out, didn't we? Your stupid girlfriend probably did too. You've been saying the whole time she's probably dead. Eh, probably huh. alive, probably dead, whatever. Important thing is, we're all fine. Probably, we're probably either tough. way, he's not wrong. Anyone made it out, it's her. I know it. Read our intentions. No, you've made them pretty clear. Sometimes sacrifices <laughs> must be I had to check. <laughs> Groot, write the stars. Grand Unifier. Breaker. Right? First, let me just say it's really cool that you've heard of us, right, guys? And it's cool that you didn't try to kill us just then, especially with your two pals right there. You could have totally ripped us apart the moment you walked in, which we obviously all appreciate. But also, we've kind of got a few questions, like, where are Centurion Corel and her daughter? You came here seeking truth. Rejoice. The matriarch wishes to share it with you. The who? gonna be Magnus because Magnus wouldn't be a matri Asked for us by name, you specifically. Although I cannot fathom why. Peter's constantly surprising us too. But if he's first in line for brainwashing, I gotta say. Is that what you think? That we're brainwashing? 
We've met your recent converts. Overly zealous doesn't even begin to describe They have embraced the Matriarch's promise. A life-altering experience, yes. But one that must be freely accepted. The quill is thrown. It's a ticket out of here. What? How? What are you two whispering about? Well? He wants to know if you know you're the bad guy. Uh, actually, we were just admiring how huge this place is. It is grand, isn't it? Belief in the Matriarch restored it to what it was before the war. Just as her promise will restore everyone we lost. Mothers. Lovers. Sons. This promise will raise the dead. Of course it won't. You can't bring people back. We can't. But the Matriarch, the divine vessel, an idea, but I need time. Stall him. What? <laughs> Come. Uh. Join me. If I intended to kill you. I was gonna kill you. I'd have killed you already. Wow. Oh, oh, okay. That. Uh, that is a cool trick. I'll explain how you did it. Sorcery. I can understand how some might see it. <gasps> but I used science. Science of faith. Faith is not science. But faith energy is. This skin. My inquisitiveness. Even Sacrosanct herself, all powered by the same miraculous energy. Energy I discovered. I'm going for the drone. Keep him talking. But now? What? What is it? It's just, um. You, uh. You, uh, discovered stuff, and you claim to, uh. Um, Control energy? Faith energy? Right. Uh, well, it just seems like all this uh, faith energy is... is uh... I, I think what Gamora's point is, is uh, you say you have all of this energy. Faith energy. Right, but when we first saw you, weren't you stranded on Hallow's Hope because your shuttle ran out of juice? Yes, I was, but... So why don't you just believe that your ship had more gas? It doesn't work that way. Faith energy is a byproduct of belief. Focused belief. <clears throat> okay, sure. I saw this proven. Focused belief in him is what enabled us to survive. So, you were saying... Wait. Weren't there more of you? What? No, no, no. <laughs> no, no. Nope. It seems like the kind of thing that we would be aware of. Indeed. Please continue your fascinating account of... You were saying something about her? It seemed super important. The matriarch, I guess? That is not what I was talking about. Are you sure? It seemed like the matriarch was a thing at some point. She is the second divine vessel I was talking about the first. The one who refused to reverse the death of my son! But she has come to fulfill that promise. <laughs> Wait, there were more of you. The little one is missing. Perhaps he died like your son. Thanks. What? <laughs> right? Yes. Good point, Groot. He is totally into his spiritual mission. But I think I figured out all of this. Those were some pretty sweet holograms. <laughs> I think even the world might be jealous. I mean, they must have cost you an arm and a 
Well, another arm. <laughs> right? And this? That's a pretty sweet trick, too. But everybody's got anti-gravity these days. Oh, and let me guess. You got your own personal shield generator tucked under that terror toga, don't you? <laughs> a little makeup, some color coordination. Oh, love in the gold laser light show. <laughs> God damn it. Scam. I'm actually impressed. Well, good for you. Hey, I get it, man. You gotta sell the brand before you stage the miracle. <laughs> oh, man, this one time on Rigel 3. You I think you're all very clever. You hope to delay me because you're afraid. There is nothing to fear. Why are you? Get back here where I can see you. Yeah, yeah. It's time to meet the Matriarch. What did you do, Rocket? Rocket, tell me you have an escape plan. We're gonna summon the Milano. My new buddy will show us the way. We're being very cryptic, Rodent. Yeah, well, I get twitchy when I'm surrounded by giant murder bots. They just want us to meet their new mommy. Speaking of which. Who else thinks Quill's ex-girlfriend traded in her cop badge for cult robes? Come on. What? I'm just saying what we're all thinking. It's gonna be the matriarch shit. Or not, I don't know. This game's going in direction. Nikki? You may approach. Peter Quill, order your offspring to come down from there this instant. Maybe I'm out of line, but aren't you a little young for a dress that short? Aren't you a little old to write your name on your clothes? Took you long enough. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, you know, chatty grandpa gets. Hey, we're gonna get you out of here. Just follow my lead. But this is where we're supposed to be. We're gonna save everybody. I'm gonna save them, I promised. Come on, snap out of it, kid. You're just saying what he wants you to say. your mom mom is here she's right here inside me right Ruh right -ruh. oh thanks for clearing that up the light joined us I thought she was gone but I can bring her back they're all waiting for us to bring them back all we need is faith the Grand Unifier helped me understand. This is one big con. Trust me, I know a thing or two Why about- Why can't you just believe in me? Why won't you just listen? Nobody ever listens until I show them. God damn. Stop. She doesn't have to die, Peter. You can save her. I promise. <coughs> Get back! Your scaly mist won't touch one hair on his head! I said get back! Need to go! 
I am so proud of you. Your father would be so proud. I, I don't understand. I, I saw you die. Am I... Did I go back? You are here. That's all that matters. We have all the time in the world now. You and... This is all hallucinating. And your friends, too. My friends? Sure. The house is plenty big enough. And I want to meet this amazing team of yours and hear all about your incredible adventures. <laughs> that is... You don't know how bad I've wanted this. Oh, nothing will ever break us apart, I promise, Peter. I promise. The reality. I can't believe I have you back. Uh, Mom, you're squeezing kind of tight. We have so much time to make up for. Maybe we'll finally get to finish that game. Can you feel it? The promise is all around us. The matriarch will reunite us now and forever. that needs replacing plugs are like new so that's not the problem that was a little loose shouldn't be the cause of the problem though hmm. might need to top off the oil Peter! Dinner's almost ready. yeah be right there mom Meredith Quill, where do you keep your carving knives? Oh, there's one in the drawer, nearest the stove. All I see is a dull instrument fit for a child. <laughs> That's the one. There you are, Peter. I was just about to come out and call you again. Some things never change, I suppose. Ah, Peter Quill. Your mother was just telling us about your childhood. Just some of your better adventures. She also Green told us she had found us all around the corners. But you refuse to see reason. Drax, you said that would stay between us. Are you still pushing that Janie thing? She's a lovely girl, Peter, who's turned into an even lovelier young woman. She does sound pretty nice, Peter. Better than all the rest of them, for sure, Quill. All the rest of them? Your son is rather promiscuous, Meredith Quill. Uh, uh. Not cool! Sounds like we need to have a serious talk over dinner, Peter. Why do I feel like I'm about to get grounded? I believe you still have this. The craftsmanship is shoddy at best. Be nice, Drax. Peter, try! Is this the same radio you used to have? Yep. Sounds better than ever, too. Guess they don't make things like they used to. Mora, what did I say about putting your clothes in the wash with mine? Bet you'd be happy to take care of it. You better be washing your hands. His hygiene habits are deplorable. You should have seen his work. Boys just laying around. Why are the bristles wet? Who keeps using my toothbrush? Mom, what happened to my room? You were gone so long, I had to move on. There to finish. There we go. Oh, nothing will 
never break us apart. I promise, Peter. I promise. I can't believe I have you back. Uh, Mom, you're squeezing kind of let go of me. Stop. Stop hugging me. Peter. Peter. <laughs> Not my mama. Now, Peter, while it's distracted, we can reach Nikki. She needs our help. Dad, hmm. come on, get up. We don't have much time. <clears throat> we need to get everything ready. Mom will be home soon. Come on, get up. Nikki, what? Huh? Taking this off or hanging it up. This better not be like some weird episode of the Twilight Zone. You guys aren't in there, are you? What the hell? I need your help. Mom will be home for lunch soon, and I want everything to be perfect. Perfect? For her birthday. That's today. Did you forget again? This is such a mind fuck. Dad? Dad? Uh, no, no, of, of course not. I just don't remember falling asleep. Great. So, can you help me set everything up like we said yesterday? I just need help with the hollow projector, and then um, there's the cake and the present that we got her. I want everything to be perfect before she gets home. Oh, okay. Oh, wow. This looks amazing. Did you make it? Oh, no. I ordered it from the bakery planet. There's a bake? No! I baked it. Okay, that just leaves the present and projector. Dad, the projector? You're projecting. We are still on your mom's ship, right? Of course. You're so weird. Weird doesn't begin to cover it. Happy birthday, love Nikki and Peter. Why don't I remember this? Did you find it? Yeah. Hello, weird. Projector still needs to be fixed. Great, a gift. Put it on the table. One birthday present. What did you get her? We got it. On nowhere. Remember the artist Sally we went to and the painting she really liked? Of Krilar? Oh. Right. Yeah. Uh, Nick, is it supposed to be fuzzy? Ugh, obviously not. It's not focused right or something. Can you refocus it? Wow. It turned out so good. I was sure I messed part of it up. Uh, Wait, did you make this? Yeah. It's hollow and the star system around it, and I think I got all the moons. It's beautiful. Anything else? 
I don't think so. How does it look? Amazing. Your mom's gonna love it. Thanks, Dad. I love you. Uh, wow. <laughs> okay, I, uh... Nikki, why is the door locked? It's Maddie. I'll make sure everything's perfect. You get the door. Surprise! <coughs> Peter? Were you two... No! <clears throat> Don't believe it, Peter. This isn't real. She's being tricked. She never should have been here. What she saw. I don't know how, but the three of us are connected now. That thing, that thing has her, but she can still be saved. She has to accept my death. She must. Show her how to let me go. Free my daughter. Save her. Please! Child! Get the matriarch out of here! Now! Rejecting the promise, you have proven yourselves unworthy. Oh, well, here we go. And you must be destroyed. If I can finish him. Well, we're gonna finish him. This is what did you do to us? Mark, in my days, I'm gonna feel you later. Focus on Ranger. Fair enough. Hey, Grandpa, you think we're afraid of your goons? <laughs> they do not leave this chamber. Savage. Thanks, Drax. They're roving on taking the rest of them harder to 
Rocket super kick. Breezy targets down here. How do we get out? Raker's drone gave me a peek at the ship's layout. I'll get us to the comm center where we can call the Milano to come bail us out of the scuttle block. Okay, but do you see a way up? I see a way up. How thoughtful. Solid land. Ten out of ten. That's bad. That's very bad. We need an exit. There ain't one. Then make one. Rex, hit this part of the wall as hard as you can. Why? Because we're about to die. Right. Mm. I know that sweet smell anyway. We can escape through that drain. Are you nuts? That's highly toxic warp drive cooling. We can't just jump in there. We need to keep moving. Maybe I wasn't clear. That's a pool of instant death. Whoa! Whoa. Drax. Drax, man, uh, everything okay? Yes. Okay, so maybe it ain't warp drive cooling. <laughs> That's tingling. Well, we need to talk about your kid trying to kill us. Raker did something to her. This is his... Do you think they reached the old mining sector? No. The Grand Unifier said lift your drones into the lower halls. The heretics would have been disintegrated. Scott Halls? <laughs> yeah, maybe. But if we are lost, at least they can't find us. We're screwed. We're lost and we're screwed. I just need to get my bearings. I ain't never been on a ship this big. Trust your instincts, no one. Uh, little one? Eh, guess it's better than abomination. <laughs> you are a single. Probably gonna be where we start Luna. next week. There's Gubbins. You named it Gubbins? Yup. Watch this. He's gonna take us to the comm center. There. That's our exit. All right. <sighs> Digging this game. Love it. Um, uh, we got like, like I said, a couple more streams of it to go. 
Tomorrow, we're going to get good or get fit in Elden Ring. We're going to hop on that bike, going to ride it, and then we're going to work out when we die. Have yourselves a wonderful evening. We'll see you tomorrow.